all right two videos in one day but I want to talk about something and I want to talk about why the PS5 won my purchase this holiday season over the Xbox Series X and let me make this clear there will be no Xbox Series X bashing so if you thought that you were gonna get that you might as well leave right now anyway <coughs> The PS5 won my purchase not because of teraflops, not because of SSDs, not because of haptic feedback, not because it's as tall as a skyscraper, not because of any of that shit, not because it looks like that opera house over there in Australia, not because of any of it. It won my purchase because of the number one most important feature of any console the games that's what it came down to it came down to what was going to happen with demon souls versus what was going to happen with halo infinite that's what it came down to for me because once you get that in the fold then all of the other stuff that the console is about can then be considered in my opinion and those are the two games i was looking forward to from either side of this this aisle <clears throat> right uh make no mistake about it the Xbox Series X was originally my plan for this holiday season and I just plan to get the PS5 at a later date. Because once, or at the point in time where it seemed like Halo Infinite was locked in, then you look at the backwards compatibility and let's just not be biased about anything here. The backwards compatibility on the Xbox Series X is objectively far superior to whatever you're going to get with the PS5 <laughs> because the Xbox Series X is backwards compatible with the Xbox One fully and with select titles from every other Xbox generation and the PS5 just doesn't offer that but what the PS5 did offer was an exclusive that I couldn't get on any other console that sold me their console this holiday season. Now, and from what I can tell, this game is probably going to come to PC because it flashed up there on the screen when they debuted it. And that shit did not happen by accident. Sony be lying. Lying the asses off. Mistake. Let's just stop that shit right here and now. But, doesn't matter. I don't have a PC, not about to build one, so PlayStation 5 is where I gotta play Demon Souls at. And then, I know it's a rumor, it's not a fact, but people who are supposed to know shit about stuff, so-called industry insiders, said that Final Fantasy, or reported that Final Fantasy 16 will be coming out earlier than expected aka sometimes early next year that's the rumor then sony seemingly accidentally in air quotes leaked that gran turismo 7 will be coming out in the first half of next year the the playstation 5 just became more and more compelling to me as i figured out the games that I want to play will be available to me faster. That's just it. The Xbox Series X is more powerful. Don't care. Not important to me. Not in the margin of which the power. Not in the margin of the power gap between these two systems. Not important. Don't give a damn. Didn't give a damn that the PS4 was more powerful when I bought my Xbox One first. <coughs> Excuse me. But 
I just want to play the games. I'm not here to play the power game or the frame rate game or the resolution game. <clears throat> the frame rate on these consoles are going to be comparable. They're going to be running 60 frames per second in a lot of games. 120 frames per second in some games now where the Xbox Series X may be able to do some of this stuff in straight true 4K at 60. The PS5 might have to do it at dynamic 4K at 60, but that's just a compromise you have to make when you buy the weaker console. I go into it knowing that. But I'm trying to get my hands on these games like Demon Souls. I will be diving face first into that and I won't come out until I've died a million times and completed the game four or five times because I know it's going to whoop my ass but I don't even care. <laughs> I don't. And then Gran Turismo 7. I mean, I'm not going to lie, Forza has surpassed Gran Turismo in my mind. Forza just out outdid it. But Gran Turismo 7 has a chance to redeem itself from that boring ass Gran Turismo sport. The no career. I come to Gran Turismo for the career mode. I could care. I could not care less about the online multiplayer. They can. That's not for me. I want the career mode. I want to build myself up from that little uh, Volkswagen Golf that you get or the Toyota Yaris that you get. In, in the first race on the Sunday Cup that you, when you ra racing in that low ass cup all the way up to racing prototype racers. All the way up to my fully modified C5 Corvette that I had in the, um, in Gran Turismo 5. And my fully modified C6 Corvette, my fully modified S197 Mustang. I want to do that. I don't give a damn about no, no uh, online multiplayer when it comes to Gran Turismo. So Gran Turismo, which was my go-to favorite track simulation style racing game. I love racing games. I want to see it redeem itself. I still don't think it's going to overtake Forza, but it has in my mind but it has its chance to gain its ground because microsoft is just not ready with the things they needed to be ready with at the start of this new generation and that's the problem with the series x and the series s in my mind they aren't ready nintendo when they launched the switch they had a zelda the best selling Zelda ever now. Ready to go on the day the damn thing came out. A game that many people still consider to be the very best game on the Switch was there on the day the thing came out. Wrap your mind around that. Nobody even remembers the shit that launched on the PS5 in the Xbox One anymore. PS4, excuse me, in the Xbox One anymore. Nobody remembers that stuff. And then they had Mario Kart come out like a, a month later. That was a port. Then Splatoon 2 came out. And then Super Mario Galaxy the other game people consider to be the best game all of that shit happened within seven months of the thing releasing and nobody knows what microsoft is doing with the series x when it comes to games like compelling games like of course it's gonna have games it's gonna have the third party fluff that i couldn't care less about don't like assassin's creed don't fuck with call of duty don't want to play nba don't like madden nfl 2k was better don't need any of that halo would have sold me this thing though halo infinite would definitely sold it to me because then I started looking at all the other factors. Then once you got that game, then I started looking at oh the backwards compatibility and the slight power boost. 
that's what I would look at once you get the game that I want to get. And Demon Souls tipped me. Demon Souls tipped me across the aisle, across the line to the PlayStation. And I should be having my PlayStation on launch day, barring some uh, cat some catastrophe. I hope uh, that people lose sight of that being what is supposed to sell you a console, the games. All this resolution shit, all of this haptic feedback and blowing on the controller and all of that nonsense. I don't give a damn about none of that. I don't care. I don't. I care about what I'm going to be doing with that controller. What I'm going to be controlling on the screen. And if I can get Demon Souls, Final Fantasy 16, Gran Turismo 7 within the first 12 months, then pick up something like Cyberpunk. And replay the Witcher in the with the next generation upgrades. If I can do all of that stuff with the PlayStation 5, I'm happy until the things that I want the Series X to do to, to get to earn my money are done. Because I'm still gonna buy it. I'm getting the Series X. It's just not a priority right now for me. I don't have to have everything when it first comes out. If it if something doesn't, in my eyes, earn my dollars, I'm not rushing out to get it just because it's new. Ask the PS4. I didn't get a PS4 until when? Damn near two years after it came out. I got the PS4 a couple months before Bloodborne came out because Bloodborne was coming. And I wasn't missing that. Ask the PS3. Got the damn thing four years after it came out. Because there wasn't no way those fuckers was getting $600 for a plastic toy box. But the PS5, from what I can see, looks like it's going to be well worth the purchase. I can augment the exclusive with other things. I will be playing Cyberpunk 2077 on it. I will be playing The Witcher again on it. I will be popping in some of the old games, Final Fantasy 15, uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, um, and other shit that's over there in my pile. Persona 4, Persona 5, I mean, even though, just to see is there any upgrades uh, made to them or do you get to run them at a, at a better clip the same way the Xbox can adapt some of these games with just the brute force I want to see if the PS5 can do the same thing without a developer patch but that's it and that's how the PS5 earned my purchase it earned my purchase by having the best feature a console can have a, a, a fire ass game I'm out <sighs>